a lot of people say, oh, I just want to sort of, they kinda, they're kind of dabbling in the idea of improving themselves. And the real way to do it is you got to write down what the fuck you want and then go after it. If you decide, I'm going to get down to bang, I'm going to do this, I'm going to run a marathon in less than five hours, I'm going to, you know, whatever the fuck it is, you got to write that shit down and go for it. Well, my workout, I schedule every Sunday. I schedule everything that I'm going to do during the week. I say, I have to do yoga two times this week. I have to lift weights three times this week. I have to run twice this week. And however I fit that in, I fit that in. But I owe those things. And you don't need two and a half hours. You can get a great workout in in 40 minutes. And that's all you need for the whole day. 100%. You know, this idea of time. Like, how much time did you put in today? Like, you could work out in a bullshit manner for two hours and not get nearly as much done as you can for a half hour hard just yeah. running. Okay. So I have to get those things in. The only exceptions are injuries and sickness. I do everything that I can to put my body and my brain in a good place so that I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my engine smooth. I'm changing my oil, I'm changing my spark plugs, I'm making sure that it's operating. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but the, yeah. I know that I've done my best to keep it working the best that it can. There's consequences that you pay to constantly seeking comfort and, and avoiding discomfort and avoiding hard work. And those consequences are you're never going to feel self-realized, you're never going to feel like you accomplished anything, you're never going to have this feeling of understanding that difficulty and struggle and, and the ability to push through that is a muscle. And you develop that muscle Correct. by doing it. And once you do, you develop a lot of self-satisfaction and you develop peace of mind and you, you understand that you can overcome obstacles. If you don't have to overcome obstacles, you never know whether or not you can. Unless you are faced with actual adversity, you don't understand how you're going to feel and how you're going to react when you overcome that adversity. Fine. Things that are difficult, when you do these difficult things, you're stressing your mind or I should say, don't be stressing your mind, exercising your mind and exercising your body's ability to manage intense situations. It's hard. It's very difficult. It's very testing. And in doing so, you, you lessen the stress of regular life. The more stressful situations that I experience, the more I understand what they are and the more I can relax. But it's also like, the ma a matter of constantly being exposed to these stressful situations where there's not a long break in between doing stand-up or a long break in between martial arts training where to, to the point where anxiety can build up and then once you get into it it's almost an it's an unusual situation instead of a, a usual one what I tell people is the best advice that I, I've ever heard it's the best advice I ever came up with is it live your life like you're the hero in your movie and right now is when the fucking movie starts and your life is a shitbag disaster pretend you are uh, right now you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser and just decide not to be a loser anymore live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own behavior. do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride, like, wow, my dad was a bad motherfucker. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. I love a success story, but even more than a success story, I like a dude who fucks his life up and then gets it back together again story. Those are my favorite stories. And the way to do that, you gotta write shit down. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own fucking movie, and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. Write down what you need to do.